very, very difficult delivery. Well, he... Vicious delivery and uh, just managing to get out of the way of it. But in fact, uh, all that short. Great shot. Super cover drive from Graham Fowler for four. Fifteen minutes on 49 now. It is off it now, and that's his 50 turned away. And great style and a long leg. One will be enough for him. And uh, what a start to a test match career. What a marvellous catch. Geoffrey Dujon has made tremendous ground there to catch Chris Broad. The first wicket goes down in the England innings for 101. Wobold must be gone. This is a very fast over from Marshall, and he was through Gower's defence there. 106 for two. That's not out, but it uh, certainly hurt. Rare over pitch ball from Garner and Lamb getting nicely in the position, tucks it away down to square leg for four. So some uh, relief there for uh, Alan Lamb. That's four runs. Over pitch, that's as good a shot as he's played all day. Full flow of the bat, cracked it through there and uh, 50 then for Graham Fowler. It's taken a long time, it's been a struggle, but it's been full of determination and a lot of courage. Another four. Foot nicely out there, lent into it well. Great shot. Beautiful stroke off the back foot by Graham Fowler. It wasn't all that bad a delivery. That short, a beautiful shot. And that's a good shot, there's no third man. A little bit of bounce, and uh, Fowler again up right on top of it. Possibly went the shape finer than he expected, but perfectly good and safe shot. It's a good blow there from Alan Lamb. He's not even bothering to move from the crease. He knows it's four all the way. And he's given him this time. So he goes LBW, disappointing then, because he really outplayed jolly well up to then. He goes for 23, and it's another wicket for Marshall. 183 now for three England, and Marshall has taken all three. And that was a very unwise decision, and he's got to go LBW there. Complete misjudgment for Mike Gatting. Nothing really can go right to him at this level. It was a fine delivery, but much, much too close to offer no shot. stroke and it's produced applause from both of them as well as from this very very big crowd here at Lords and there's both of them lovely extra cover drive for four taking him on to 22 and he's gone for the big one and he's middled it over mid on for four after taking him on to 99 Four runs, consecutive fours, taking Graham Fowler onto a really magnificent hundred. How oh, well he's battled. Great test of temperament, of courage, and particularly today of skill. He's improved as the game has gone on. And he's gone this time, very safely caught at uh, second slip. 
So he flushed out there once or twice off Eldin Baptiste later. And that, just a little bit of lack of concentration after he'd gone to three figures. Sees the end of a really excellent performance from Graham Fowler. That's four there. A little big uh, heave ho. And a good meaty crack there from uh, Ian Botham. And that's out. Well, that was an odd shot there from Botham. Seemed to change his mind halfway through. A little forward defensive shot. Carried on with a little uh, plunge forward and offered a very simple catch to Gully. So Baptiste strikes again. Done. Not good cricket at the other end, I want to tell you. But that is really quick thinking. Brilliant piece of cricket. Oh, gout. Must be out. Twice in the one innings. Why don't the fellas do that? Two of them in this innings have been knocked over. One by Marshall, the other by Garner. Not bothering to play a straight. And he's gone, beautifully caught, Harper again, taking a catch there. Well, I suppose uh, Neil Fossett threatened to be dismissed in that way. And he's crushed that through the uh, square leg area. Four more. Breaks through. It's gone. Bobby W. Second wicket for England, right on the stroke of T. Caught it, he's held it high and he's gone, yes, both of strikes again. That's a superb catch in there at uh, short leg, a lot of ground to make. And Laurie Gomes has gone. There's a good shot from Richards, no chance for getting there. Good shot. That's the best shot Richards has played in this innings. Beautifully struck away through mid wicket for four. Safe, away past Gower at point, and will go for four. Richards on 40. And it's four more for Clive Lloyd. Short ball hooked away quite powerfully again by Richards. And that's four glorious runs, which takes him to 50. Up goes the bat, gave himself room. Wasn't in fact all that short, but padded away with tremendous skill and timing. It's really the sucker ball, that one. Deliberately bounced very, very short. Both of them dropped it short quite deliberately. And we're just about to see exactly where it hit. Good shot. Beautiful straight, that one. Oh, oh. oh well. That was a choked appeal from both of them. Uh, Vivian doesn't look all that happy. Both of them choked off his appeal, and I think some of the others did as well. A short hooked in the air, Fowler's under it, and it's safely caught, and Botham's got another one. All five to Ian Botham, and no wonder he's got that great big smile on his face. Oh, well bowled. Close in, very old. Oh, good one for Botham. 
six wickets in the West Indies innings, all six to Ian Botham. That man down the far end, old Ian Baptiste, is trying to lengthen the odds again. And he's gone. Yes, it's a great blow by Willis. Now Willis deserved that. Pringle taking a good catch, low down to his right at slip. And that's a marvellous moment for Bob Willis and for England. 213 for seven. And that's out. Yes, beautifully caught. And both of them has got his seventh wicket. Harper falls to a good catch, low down by Mike Gettin at uh, short extra cover. There's no doubt about that one. They didn't even bother to appeal. It was such a wide deflection, and Bob Willis deserved that. Well done. Nice catch. Two to Downton, who's done well, and even better, it's eight to both of them. He's gone this time. Broad goes. Jana got him with one. Kind of got him with one that bounced a little bit more than normal. A shot of great pedigree, that. And Clive Lloyd's picked up David Gower. Small's first test wicket in England. Yes, and what an over this is for Milton Small. Brought on to take the place of Malcolm Marshall, who was at odds with himself. Small has got two wickets, Gower and Fowler. the field, leg side, that's going over the ropes now for four. And he's gone again. Unbelievable. He's made 29 runs and made them in delightful fashion, Mike Gatting. And once again, he's out of BW without playing a stroke. Good shot, he kept it down very well. Just out of Dujon's reach, they have valuable runs. A good shot from both of them. A lovely display of aggression right at the death here. That's a good looking start for four runs, forced off the back foot, square on the offside. Marshall then to Lamb. It's a good firm blow, straight past the bowler, Lamb's not offering even to run, he knows it's four from the moment it left the bat. Shot. The attempted Yorker and Botham made no mistake. Marshall again to Botham. A short is a magnificent shot, soared into the grandstand for six. Tremendous blow there from uh, Ian Botham. That six takes him on to uh, 49. Wanting one for his 50, and there it is. Powerful straight drive. And they'll come back for three runs here. So what a great match Ian Botham is having, following up that uh, magnificent spell of hostile bowling. And he took eight wickets here on Saturday to go through to an excellent 50. In very good time, too, only 40 balls, six fours, and a very big six included in it. And that's it. Another great four from both of them. It's a good shot. Didn't get up very much. In fact, Garner has hardly got a ball up. And he's gone this time. So Garner's appeal answered in his favour. Ian Botham is out. LBW for 81. Tremendous hand from this crowd. Acknowledging another absolutely brilliant all-round performance by Botham. Eight wickets followed by 81 runs. 
And he's middled up for the first time for some uh, little while now. Glorious square cut there from Alan Lamb for four runs. That's a good looking shot. Straight through the gap. Between cover and mid off, four runs. And that's out. Thought for a long time, David Evans. Gate pulled down and out. Milton Swall has cracked it again. That's his third wicket of the innings, brought on very, very late by Clive Lloyd. That's a really good shot from Alan Lamb to take him into the 80s. That's a great shot. Four runs. Long, wide half volley, put away in a great style there by Alan Lamb. That's a fine shot. Very handy delivery and a very great shot to have in, uh, in fact, when you're on 95. That takes him on to 99. That's it. Beautiful shot, square on the offside. Four runs for Alan Lamb. Takes him through to a very, very well deserved 100. He's had to battle hard for these runs, 103, been in there a long, long time, but I can't recall him uh, giving a chance, and that's quite an accomplishment against this sort of pace attack. And he's bowling. The off spinner's bowl Miller, just how it went straight on, it went slightly for the spin, and Miller goes for nine. 273 for seven now, England, and the first wicket to the off spinner, Roger Harper. Uh, Lamb has gone. No need for umpire David Evans to give a decision there. 290 for eight now. Court Duchamp and Bob Marshall. It's very close. Yes. Ringle has gone. He was looking to see where the ball went. Umpire Barry Mayer. Another decision for him to give. Another wicket down for England. 300 for nine they are now. And there is the declaration. Four runs, first runs on the board for the West Indies. Good shot from Gordon Greenwich. Short and it's four runs. Oh, well done. Nice piece of fielding by Lamb. I don't think there was one there for Desi Haynes. He looked, there was a hesitation, and Greenwich quite properly sent him back. Lamb had to hit the stumps. No one could get in that quickly to back up. It's a great shot. It's hit the fence now. <laughs> a matter of four, two seconds from leaving the bat to striking the small fence. Great shot. Had some really good shots this morning, Gordon Greenwich. Greenwich on 61. That's through mid off for four runs. It's through this time. Yes, the quick single for Gordon Greenwich. Up goes the back, up go the arms. Super 100 this, really has played exceptionally well. 100 out of 149 for one has really set West Indies on their way. That's a beautiful shot from Games with the back foot. Not a bad ball, that, from both of them. Beautiful shot. Great stroke, that by Greenwich. 46 to Gomes. That's a good shot. Again, uh, excellent use of the feet there. You know exactly what it was all about. He's cracked it straight before to bring up a very good 54, Larry Gomes. Oh, it's hoisted away. That's over square leg and into the crowd. Six runs to Greenwich. 139 he goes to now. That'll be 150. Desperate dive by getting out there all to no avail. Another boundary for Gordon Greenwich. 
And immediately greeted him with yet another boundary. It's gone again. Four more. That's an extraordinary stroke. It was just as he played it, he had the feeling that he hadn't quite middled it. In fact, he did, and he's hit it for six and gone past the 200 mark to become only the ninth cricketer in the history of the game to make a double century at Lords. There it is. The players are off. Four to Gomes. A win for the West Indies by nine wickets, 214 not out.